Well, I took the end cap off here, and this is the part with the bearings and the bushings, I mean, and the brushes. And like what happens with a lot of motors when they sit, these brushes actually become rusted to the uh, brush holders, especially these steel brush holders. So anyway, we have to, uh, we got to get the brushes loose. I sprayed them down with WD-40, let them sit a little bit, and now I'm gently tapping them with this. Uh, hammer and piece of wood to to bring them out and then we'll clean them up once we get them out got to be very gentle or you'll be buying new brushes <coughs> at the same time if they don't come out you may need new brushes anyway pulling on the wires to get them out sometimes works but at many times it just pulls the wires right out of the brush that's it the brushes want to be able to slide up and down there pretty free they shouldn't be uh, uh, binding at all because they got to press on our armature there so as you can see that guy with just a very little bit of cleaning up he's ready to go and I'm using a little emery paper here to, to sand down the com there's something called a com stone that you can do with the motor running or you just take the little stone we're just getting the, the dust and dirt off uh, you don't want to over sand it, but a, but a little bit is okay. Motor all back together. Now we're going to hook him up with a 12 volt battery and see how he spins. Uh, as you can see, there's not really a whole lot to this whole thing, is there? 